Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the new Pepwave Surf Soho and some of the included bandwidth monitoring tools. The first thing we want to do is bring up the Surf Soho's admin interface by visiting 192.168.50.1 from your web browser. If you change the default IP, make sure you use that. The username and password default to admin and admin, and once you've done that, you're going to click log in. When you click log in, this brings you to the home page of the router. We're going to take a look at the bandwidth monitoring tools. To find those up on the top, you're going to click status, and you'll see the bandwidth monitoring tools on the left side. There are options for real time, hourly, daily, and monthly. We're going to look at each one of them and see how you can use them. The first one we're going to take a look at is the hourly setting. This will break down your internet usage by IP address per hour of the day. On the top, you can choose how you want to sort out your data. We're going to look at all WAN since we had multiple different sources, and you can scale this by megabyte or gigabyte. We'll leave it on megabyte so we can see the difference since we only have a little traffic on the router. There's a helpful chart that shows the last 24 hours of your usage, and it breaks it down by hour, and you can see a peak usage of 136 megs total. Scrolling down to the bottom here, you can take a look at which hours are available. We're going to take a look at this hour here that had the most usage. When you click it, it's going to bring up how much each IP address used per that time frame. It looks like our top usage came from the address at .50.12. It's a LAN client, meaning it was not connected via the Wi-Fi, and we used 83 megabytes down, 1.2 meg uploaded, for a total of about 85 meg. When you hover your mouse over that IP address, it will tell you the name of the device and the MAC address, so that way you can break down and see specifically which devices were using the data. The other way you can sort out this data is going to be daily. When you click out that, you get a similar type of view except for broken down by day instead of per hour. We recently reset the Surf Soho, so there's only a few days in here, but you can see it totals it up from download, upload, and a total per day, and then it also gives you the reading for the current month for how much was used. When you click on a specific day, you get the same thing. You see each IP address, how it was connected, how much was downloaded, uploaded, and the total, plus the device name. The other option you have is monthly, same type of a setup, except now you're looking at an even greater time frame, so you can see specifically how much was used per each month. Pulling it up, you get a list of IP addresses, download, upload, and total. Again, we have more devices here because we had more connected over the larger time period. The really interesting bandwidth tool is the real time. When you click it, you get an aggregated transfer, and then you can look at the WAN and USB connection individually. We'll take a look at the aggregated transfer, since this is the total of all of our connections. Currently, you can see that there is no internet traffic passing through here, but what I'm going to do is go over to my 3G Store laptop, which is connected, and start a high-definition video on YouTube so we can get some data. We're going to give this a couple seconds to give us a little bit of data here. Looks like when we started the video, we got a nice big peak at the start. Uh, that's going to be typical to see, but it's going to level out and give you that average, which is important. So there's our high peak from when we started. And now you can see we're getting an average over our transfer for that video. We're getting 11.4 to 12 megabytes down, 0.1 megabits per second up. So you can see we're streaming network and we're looking at live data. Of course, this is reflected on the WAN since that's what we're using for our internet connection and USB is blank since we don't have a modem plugged in. So now we have a very easy way to monitor our network, see exactly where our traffic is coming from, where it's going, and where our resources are being used. For more information, visit 3gstore.com surfsoho, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.